Welcome to our full moon in Scorpio May newsletter. When there's a full moon, Grandmother Moon shines her light in the dark places so that all those things that have been hidden come up to the surface to be seen. Scorpio is, has a very similar quality. The Scorpio characteristics are to do with going deep within to pull up from the depths those things that have been hidden. Scorpio is a very emotional and intuitive sign, deep diving. And so <clears throat> my altar today, I have um, something that represents that watery element, shells that, um, that have come from the sea that remind me that the sea, the oceans, the rivers, everything that flows, to me represent the same kind of ebb and flow of our own emotions and connects us with our, our world. Emotions are really important. And we've been uh, conditioned not to show our emotions, particularly the negative emotions like rage and anger and grief and sorrow, but stuck emotions when they get stuck in our body, create dis-ease. And it's really important to let those emotions flow like the rivers so that we don't hold on to anything and let it stagnate within our bodies. Grief, by the way, stagnates in the lungs and, and there's a lot of grief in our world loss of our species, loss of our connection to our families, most of all the loss of our connection to Mother Earth. <clears throat> also on my altar, I've got these beautiful spring flowers that remind me that new life is um, burgeoning now in spring. These tender shoots and flowers that are coming up now remind me that from from death also something new births itself into the world. And Scorpio is very much about honoring death. And of course, that's where we are in our world right now. Many people are leaving the planet. Death is on the table. And yes, it's tragic that we can't be with our loved ones as they pass over. This is a terrible tragedy. And to that end, one of our ex-students, Cap Faith, has created, reworked one of the exercises that we do called Cradling. It's an exercise um, from Joanna Macy's work. And she's redesigned it so that if you, um, if you have somebody, a loved one, who is passing and you can't be with them, then you can do this meditation and connect with their body and say goodbye. It's really, really beautiful. And it's here in this newsletter. So intuition. I really want to go to that place where our intuition lives is in our guts, in our belly. And for many of us, our intuition has been overridden by the big people that we grew up with because we have to believe the big people it allows us to stay safe. But like Joseph Campbell says, we were born 13 years too soon and we spent a long time listening to the big people telling us what to do, how to do what, what we needed to do. That's how we learned things. But that also conditioned us to listen to their voice rather than the voice within us. So all of our training is about coming back to our authentic voice, that place in us where our own truth lives and to follow that impulse that comes from within is really, really important and especially now when we've got all this conflicting information coming and we never know who we can trust. We can trust our intuition, we can trust ourselves, our own inner truth, 
and that's really important to listen to that voice and question uh, in the story of the Fisher King the wounded Fisher King Parsifal was told not to ask the question by his mother so if a big person said don't ask questions but eventually he goes back to the Grail Castle and he asks the question and in the asking of the question the Fisher King is healed and the world comes back to life. Ask questions, it's really important. Curiosity, question everything. Use your intuition and I hope that our um, sharings throughout our newsletters and the things that we're putting out on Facebook. I hope that they are helping you to come back to yourself in whatever way um, works for you. And we've, we've been creative about how many different ways we've offered your, you our medicine. <clears throat> so I wish you a wonderful full moon. Um, let your emotions flow and we will see you soon. Most of all, thank you. If you're subscribing to this newsletter, I know that you're here to make a difference in our world. Now more than any other time, it's really important for all of us to show up, to connect and to become the change that we want to see in the world, to create together the kind of world that you and I know is possible right now. So let's do that. And thank you for being you.